When we visited Paducah, Kentucky back in February, we were staying across the bridge in Illinois at the Riverview Mansion. So on our day in Paducah, we had breakfast at the mansion and drove across the border. The downtown Paducah area is one of the artsiest and most adorable downtowns we've ever seen. The old meets new architecture is gorgeous to explore and look at. We made a stop at the Quilt Museum and then off to Kirchhoff's Bakery to meet some new friends for lunch. P.S. There's a coffee shop next door with yummy ice lattes. After having a quick lunch and coffee meetup, we got a tour of the beautiful Carson Center. This is the hub for all things performing arts in Paducah. We happened to pop in while Mercy Health was setting up for a banquet, so we got to see the place all spiffed up for an event. It was gorgeous from the outside, but the view from the stage was magical. Backstage, you'll find rooms with walls filled with signatures. We had the best time pointing out shows we'd seen and seeing who all signed the wall. People like Amy Grant, Toby Mac, and the cast of Mamma Mia. After our tour of the Carson Center, we took a trip downtown and meandered around in and out of some shops and picked up some cute pieces from a local art store. There's really no shortage of galleries and local stores to wander through. Paducah has a really great artistic community and we fell in love. Now it's dinner time. Where should you go? We have two great options. First, Max's Brick Oven. This place is gorgeous with a warm and homey atmosphere. The food is delicious and creative, and the staff becomes family when you meet them for the first time. Or you could go to Freight House. This restaurant is owned by season 16 Top Chef runner-up Sarah Bradley, and she's created magic here. The food is inventive and gorgeously plated, not to mention delicious. We'll be back in Paducah this July and can't wait to show you more from this artistic gem in Western Kentucky.